Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Southern Fried Tech. This week we're going to take a quick trip back in time, back to the early 2000s, with this, I believe, complete all-in-box uh, example of a compact iPack H3835. So join me as we open it up and we get to experience what it was like to open this uh, beast of a machine back in the early 2000s. Okay, so we set up the box in here. So just a quick uh, couple of things about this iPack. Um, so according to the label here on the front, somebody originally paid uh, $599.99 for this thing. Which seems a little high considering I got this for, I believe it was about $25 on eBay maybe like 5 to 10 years ago. And uh, honestly, I just I bought this... I use, I put it I took it out of the box like once and then I put it back in the storage and so honestly I'm not really too sure what's in here but yeah I mean over here on the side of the box we just have the basic uh, uh, Windows requirements for this so you would need a system with anything from XP all the way down to NT um, you needed Outlook 98 Internet Explorer 4.1 Service Pack 1 or later a hard disk with get this 12 to 60 65 megs of hard drive space which you know stunning you know my my computer has a, a simple one terabyte hard drive just for game storage so sure uh, let's go with me not having enough uh, space uh serial port or a usb port for windows 98 and up a cd-rom drive and your uh vga graphics compatible card uh keyboard and a Microsoft compatible mouse, right? And then of course internet if for internet transfers and whatnot. Uh it's a quick look at the back of the box. So you get to point out our integrated speaker, our voice recorder, uh expansion pack connector, and maybe you know I'll talk about that in in a few minutes. Our navigator, our sixty-four kilobyte kil sixty-four K color reflective screen, which I believe is a three twenty by yeah, 240 by 320. Uh, SD card slot at the top, which was pretty impressive for the time, right? And then the expansion packs that would have come with this. Actually, a fun fact, there is a included um, expansion case in the box with it already. And this is not an extra. This is actually included with it. And uh, yeah, you're over here on the side, just basically what's... Uh, Basically what comes with it, so, I mean, 64 megs of RAM, the 64K color display, the protective cover pack, the lithium-ion polymer battery, the AC adapter with DC plug, with the, I mean, this should be just be one thing, the universal sync cradle, and the compact software CD with active sync. Okay, so, oh, and then, yeah, down here is basically the case, but... Let's uh let's take a let's open up this box and see what we get inside. Okay, so starting off, we get this cool little compact uh, sealed box right here. We get our uh, our software box right there. All right, let's put that to the side. Uh, we're here inside the box. The first thing I'm pulling out is the software cradle. Right. So you have your both your either your serial for your older computers or your USB. You know, it's pretty cool. And then you have your stylus holders right there. You put that to the side. Uh, our stylus. There's actually a spot on the iPad itself for this, but uh, I like I said I took this out just to play around with it, and I kind of just threw everything back in there. And then I did actually find this at a later date and just put it in there. Didn't really worry about it too much. Uh, right here we have our power cable, and with these, uh, unless you buy a specific adapter for the end here, you actually cannot charge the iPad directly from this adapter. You do need the cradle, or like I said, if you need, you get a special adapter to stick at the end. And last but not least, we have the iPad itself. Okay, let's put all this to the side. Okay, let's take a let's take a quick look at what kind of software we get. So, we have our 
certificate of authenticity here for Microsoft Outlook version 2002 along with the Compaq uh, software. That's just a basic Compaq iPad Pocket PC Companion CD. This CD includes Microsoft Outlook 2002 and Active Sync 3.5 and we'll be using that later in the disk. I'm gonna install this on the old Compaq Evo and we can take a look. I'm not really sure what I can sync on it from there, but uh, we'll see. Have our special features guide, right? So let's see what this is. Compact special features. Okay, this looks. Oh, this is from 2000, September 2001. That's uh, it's kind of eerie, but yeah, it's basically how to how to do certain things on the screen. And I mean, it's not a, it's not that hard to use, honestly. A couple of features are kind of, kind of funky to use on these things, but it, it you know, with time you kind of get used to it. And I mean, this isn't the only PDA that I have. I have a couple other ones. So, um, um, what are they, Palm Pilots, for example? And I mean, it's basically, this is just a more modern version of that. Um, this is the IPAC Net Mobility Solutions. Oh, okay. So the antenna, antenna um, expansion pack. Yeah, this I don't have that. Wish I did. Let's see. Of course, accessory information. So you just drop the pretty penny on this thing, and sure, you know, get uh, HP to sell you some more things. So we get things like the keyboard, the case. Oh man, this feels. This feels new, actually. Like. As soon as I open this, I can smell like, you know, like a new book type thing. Wow. That's, uh, that's fun. Uh, a couple different expansion parts, cards of the dual slot PC card, the PC card expansion plus, the compact flash. Yeah, just, you know, just more ways to get your money. Extended battery, another charger, a couple of premium leather cases, compact flash. Three stylus three pack. Wow, wireless cards, man. I haven't seen those in a while. But yeah, it's basically more way to get your money. Let's see. Okay. Uh, here's huh. This is funny. There's a free uh, free trial for uh, Audible. Let's see. Huh. Okay. Gotta check that out. Oh boy. We get a registration card. I'm sure that's still legit. Our cover pack installation card. Well, we don't really need that. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is just how to swap the. Yeah, I kind of remember. I remember doing that one time. You can change the. Uh, which way the screen goes. Or, sorry, the cover. Get your worldwide limited warranty statement. Yeah, sure. You mean Compact didn't go out of business or anything, right? So, free issue of Pocket PC. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, sure, I'll sign up for that. Yeah, it's just your regular Compact stuff. So, your warranty for... Uh, just more warranty and then worldwide telephone numbers. Port and safety information. It's just gonna say like don't get it wet yeah right there this product uh mm, yeah you got to take it to the compact authorized service provider sure enough if it gets wet and then compact care pack now so just basically extended warranty all right let me put all this stuff back in the box before i uh before i lose any of it this is pretty cool. Like I, I'm a pretty avid uh, compact fan, so having this like complete in box kind of thing. And I'm not. One, I'm still not 100% sure if this is all in box, but I do believe it is. So if it's not, and uh, I could be wrong, but I'm like pretty sure that it is. Okay, so let's take a look at the device itself. So here's the expansion pack. You have your little battery right here. Or your, sorry, your second battery. Which I'm sure it's dead. Right? You just slide it back into here. Here, 
you have your uh, PC card expansion slot. So if you wanted to add a wireless card or, you know, modem, that kind of thing. You have an SD card slot here at the top. So you could add more RAM. Um, I believe the max you can stick on here is a 2 gig, but I'm kind of going off 10 your memory right here. And oh, as I said earlier about the charger port, this is basically where this connects into the cradle. So this little, this little connector right here, right? So yeah, if you wanted to run this directly to the power cable, you definitely needed the extension tip. And I mean, you can buy those on eBay or Amazon. Um, you you'll see them, you'll see them on there quite a bit. Um, up here, so you know above the uh, above the charging port, you have your your um, D pad right here. So you're up, down, left, right. You have a calendar button, I believe contacts, email, and back. Although a neat feature with the uh, iPad software. Oh, and sorry. And then on the side here, you have your voice memo button. Um, the cool thing with the iPad software is you can actually customize these to be anything. So, for example, you don't need this to be a calendar button. You can set that to be your... Um, like, you know, spider salt, um, not spider solitaire, just regular solitaire or Excel or pocket word, whatever, whatever you wanted to put on here. Uh, up here at the top, we have our notification light, a uh, little microphone slot right there, a little hard to tell. Um, your speaker, which if I remember correctly, this is, it did not work or it was pretty low, but we'll, we'll find out. And our power button. Okay, so let me get this, uh, plugged in and we'll take a quick look at it okay so i think i got everything set up there we go so learned i learned something uh kind of sad as i did this the battery's pretty much dead so when you plug it in here right so the first thing is the screen comes on and um i, I know on camera you'll see these lines that it's not visible in person although uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but yeah, that's a really low sound. Uh, that's just the camera, but uh, even on even on person, the camera's not that, it's not, I mean, sorry, the screen isn't that good, but it's, it doesn't have the lines, but yeah, I mean, we, we can leave it on here for a few minutes, and uh, the battery charging light is blinking on the back, but I, I don't have faith that either one of them works. So, uh with with the uh, compact eye pack so when you plug it in right and uh, it's been off for a long time the first thing it'll ask you to do is to basically initialize the screen so well, this is the stylus by the way it goes up here and just pop, clicks into place right so so you just gotta uh, who misses stylus or styli, right? Everything's, uh, everything's just, it just works nowadays. But this, uh, this is fun. Okay. And then you got to run their little tutorial, right? And if you've never, if you've never experienced, um, uh, PDAs or personal digital assistants, you know, um, this is basically this basically would have replaced your cell phone back in the day. So Okay. So for example, back in the day this was probably your cell phone, right? So this is you know, these are old some old school Nokia's here, but you couldn't do anything besides call and send a the occasional text message although you know yeah i remember t9 that was great so you know on a modern smartphone you can text you can call and you can also set up appointments and reminders and whatnot alarms but back in the day that really wasn't possible some yes there would be exceptions with some phones but for the most part that wasn't really the case um but so if you were a business professional and you absolutely needed to keep up on your emails, your schedule, your appointments, that kind of thing, this is the device that you basically needed. And the Compact wasn't the only one that did this. So again, you have the uh, Palm Pilot, which had been doing, at this point, they had been doing this for 
a while. So I have this example here of a uh, Palm 3. So I believe this one believe this one has been out for a few a few years now. I mean, sorry, before this, right? So that was a cool cool example. Um but yeah, so anyway, let's get back to the one we are using. Okay. Yeah, I throw in an advertisement. Why don't you? Okay, so basically this is the uh, Windows 2000 experience. So up here, you know, you can set up your owner information. And this is a little on-screen keyboard. You you definitely need a stylus for this thing. If you try to do it by hand, like, oh, I'm going to try and do a... Yeah, there you're not. That's gonna be. That's not. That's gonna be kind of hard. So let's. And even with the stylus, it's not the easiest thing. There you go. I'm the new. I'm the new owner. And do I have any upcoming appointments? I uh, don't look like it. I'm gonna make a new appointment. I'm gonna say review this eye pack there you go all right no one read messages so this is where the active sync comes in so um like i said you can get a modem for this thing a wireless card for this eye pack but if you would just have it stock like like this is basically this does not have any connectivity on its own um so you would need uh you would need a computer with again the serial port or the USB so you could sync emails between this thing and so the whole point was you type up your emails, you type up your Word documents or whatever on here, and then once you get to your office or your home or whatever the case may be, then you hook this up to the computer, you open up Active Sync and it'll sync everything, right? So you do all your work on the computer, then it's time to go home take this out of your cradle and you bring everything along with you so uh it's not necessarily gonna you know it's like a, not again like a like a modern cell phone or whatnot um tasks so you know all right we're gonna do review ipack again okay so we have one active task now so what can what else can we do on here so besides the basic pda function right so you have your today, which is this. You have your active sync screen. So, you know, it's not connected to anything. So that's not going to work. And I'll, I'll we'll hook, like I said, I'll hook it up to the old compact Evo and, and see what we can do. Um, that's actually not the only way. If I recall correctly, this does have infrared. Uh, I believe it's right here. But if I recall correctly, I, I couldn't get it to work at the time. Although that was with the older, uh, with my other compact. So that might be why. Um, you have your calendar, right? So you got your different views here and whatnot. Oh boy, September two thousand and one again. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let me close that. Um, your inbox again. Once you're uh, set up with with uh, Active Sync, uh, this one's a fun one. I I did connect the I I did uh, have the uh, my old computer hooked up to the internet when i tried this before and kind of didn't manage to browse the internet on here although i couldn't really open anything just because of this is so old but i do believe google does work on here i don't think any of these worked but we'll we'll, we'll give that a try uh we have your notes right so hi hi This beast of a machine. There you go. All right. My husband's calling it a drawing. Uh, let's see. We can get out of that. Tasks. Oh, well, we did that one already. And Windows Media Player. And yes, you can load up music on this thing. Um, let's see what's on here. Welcome to Windows Media Player. 
So we can, let's test out the speaker real quick as a sound. Yeah, that is extremely low. I, I'm not even sure that popped up on the uh, video. Um, yeah, down here you got your new new uh, function, so you can set up a new appointment, contact, email message, Excel, note, task, and Word document. So appointment, you know, uh, my pack video, right? So for today. Uh, let's see. You can also set up a new contact. You know. No. Okay. That's my new contact. You got your email message. To. Uh. I will email compact. I. Love. My. New. Device. Okay, so in theory, you know, if that had been the real thing, that would have, that will send out once I hook it up to hot sync. But anyway, let's move on. So the Excel workbook, this one's pretty fun. I, I, I can't imagine you actually wanting to do a, an Excel workbook in this thing, but I mean, you know, um, why not? Okay, so, no, um. Uh, device right and count so you know i could keep use this to keep track of my old uh, all, my, all my old hardware so i could say i have one ipack so one and we'll use the uh palm as the other one yeah this is very very difficult to start um to start doing yeah sure there's our excel word or excel document um note so we did the note already um task we did task and word document word documents is basically you know this there's no i don't think there's drawing to be honest oh well, maybe block recognizer oh okay so this is just like the old palm one Yeah, there's like a way you're supposed to do it, but uh, it, you're supposed to do, start from like a certain section, and then it, that only that way it'll recognize what letter you're doing. See, I tried jungle there, and I didn't think it was jutai. But yeah, all right, let's let's go on to something else. Let's go to the new. Okay, let's go to programs. Right, let's get the next menu here. Got your games folder, your calculator. File Explorer, and this is what I'm saying. It's got the infrared, but I haven't been able to get this from what I remember back in the day. So I, you know, I don't think that actually works. Uh, actually, MSN Messenger, that's an interesting one, but I'm getting, you know, the whole internet thing. Microsoft Reader, I don't remember what this is. Clear type. Um, you must activate this device to read your premium book titles. Oh, okay, so I guess it's just like a PDF like a pdf thing okay yeah i'm not gonna deal with that anyways we got solitaire this is a uh oh, this is one fun game okay oh no yeah you know i got my i might just go back to playing this on the desktop i'm not gonna Make it make you guys watch that. Anyway, uh, let's see. I believe there was also another. Oh, well, I guess settings. But yeah, anyway, yeah. So what like I was saying earlier about the uh, being able to readjust the uh, the buttons. There you go. So see, it's calendars, contacts, inbox, and the eye task. What's eye task? Oh, okay. This is basically uh, what do you call it? Your um, 
your to search your your task manager, right? I'm not gonna mess with that right now. You got your input, owner information. That's me. System. Actually, so self test is basically run like diagnostics and stuff. But yeah, I will make you guys see that screen. Uh, screen alignment. Remove programs. There's nothing on the memory again. It's it's been off for a while. Regional settings. So whatever, if you want how how you want your layouts and whatnot. So month, date, year, date, month. You know, just international stuff. Power. Yeah. See, there's nothing for the battery. So both the batteries are dead. Uh, permanent PIM. This is so anything that you want saved on the memory once. Um, like if you were changing the battery or this died overnight. But this really won't do anything just because there's no battery, but like there's no battery at all. So even if it saved it, let's say for a day, then it's not gonna do anything. So our memory? Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, I'll mess with that. See so our yeah, iTask settings? No. Got extension pack, see? So it's supposed to have a battery, and it's supposed, and this is the PC card expansion pack plus. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Compact audio. Yeah, it's just basically audio control. So your EQ, but I don't have anything plugged into it, so it's not gonna make a difference. Clock, you know. So you got your home clock, and I guess you know this is an international device, so it makes sense. If you want to set this up for wherever you're at, so uh, for example, my local time here is six oh five, so you know up north it might be seven oh five. Okay, backup utility. So you're upgrading from a different iPad to this, which I don't have another iPad, which I wish I did. Backlight. This is basically energy saver. An automatic. I don't think. Well. Actually, I, there might be a sensor up there. I'm not sure. Acid viewer. Oh, okay. It's just basically system information. Uh, I skipped over auto run here. Um, no, 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 no. And about. It's basically what this is. So, um, let's see. Yeah, 2001, we're looking at their device ID. Copyrights, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's basically the gist of it. Um, let me get the old compact set up and we'll take a look at the active sync. Okay, so here we have the old compact. I got the software loaded up, uh, powered it on. And the first thing it's doing here with the active sync, it's asking me if I want to set up a partnership. So let's see. So if I hit yes, it's only going to work with this computer. No, if it's going to do it as a guest, so I, I can go to another system. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Pocket, sure. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. There we go. So, basically, right? Oh, okay. That's neat. The little green light that popped up. Yeah, it, so it's telling me to, uh, it's telling me to, uh, it's reminding me to do these things, right? So now that I upgraded it, now that I plugged it into this system, which has the active time, I guess it, uh, since it still thinks this, it's, uh, 2001, uh, tell me I'm way overdue. So I'll snooze it. That's kind of cool. I'll, uh, snooze that one as well. So if we go to active sync. We should have this system right here. So connecting to Microsoft Outlook okay all right let's see um, all right so let's explore so once we go to explore here right so I can see my notes I can those notes I did I can do the you can see the book I guess I thought I could. Okay, so let's see. 
let's see if we can figure this out let's see if we can add a let's see if we can add a uh hmm. oh okay so here's the internet thing although i'm not connected to my internet apparently okay that's gonna take a second okay i'm back so yeah i'm not having any luck with this thing i guess uh um, it's my copy of Outlook 2007 is too new for this, but I mean, there was really not much I could do that I could have done with this, but I really wanted to put passport on this thing. Um, but there is something we can do now. Okay. Let me, so if we snooze, snooze and we get out of this, right? So we can go in uh, settings. So the compact is connected to the internet. Um, where's the network of connections? Okay, let's see. Let's see if this works. The view address bar. Not Googles. Come on. Okay, you know what? Fine, you win. Let's see if I can open Google on this thing. Okay, there we go. Yes. Oh, God. Um, okay, what about Bing? Can we get Bing? I know Bing works on XP. Oh, no. There we go. Bing. So let's let's Oh my god, this is so slow. And the thing is that now that it's online, it is very much uh, slower than normal. I'm going to look for myself because I know I'm not going to sue myself. Alright, let's see if I can find myself on this 20-year-old iPad. Come on, Bing. Oh my god, there I am. What? Oh, did I exit? No. There he is. Oh, I accidentally. Whoops. All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry about that. My uh, camera kind of fell over. But anyway, I just wanted to show you something real quick if you try to open a link on here. So, ironically enough, I found the unboxing video for this compact, right? So, yeah, it just gives up. It's not going to. doesn't try to even open it. Well, that's uh, fun of uh, good old uh, Internet Explorer. But yeah, anyways, this has been a little review and unboxing video of the Compact IPAC H3835. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's a cool little IPAC. Um, I mean, I, I see these everyone go on go on sale on, on like eBay and whatnot. 
every once in a while. Um, there's multiple versions of the iPack, um, even with the HP branding. Like, if you are into this kind of thing, honestly, uh, I would say if you're interested, maybe I'd look for something a bit newer, unless you just want this for the nostalgia uh, factor. Just because you on the newer ones, you do have things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And even on some, you can actually even get a, a camera. So it, it just really depends if you if you actually do want to use something like this. I'd recommend the modern one. Again, nostalgia factor. This thing is pretty cool. It's really nice. It's nicely built. And, you know, I'll be biased because it's my favorite brand. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with this little device, even if the battery doesn't work. Which, uh, yeah, if I unplug it right now, it should just turn off. There you go. Yep, turned off. So, not a big deal. Yeah, it's just going to go up on my shelf of interesting items. But, yeah, I mean, it's uh, still, a, still a fun little device. Something, it's still pretty cool. Um, you know, as always, you know, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, dislike, subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care.